President Trump is again lashing out at Democrats in Congress on immigration. In a tweet today, the president repeated his assertion that Democrats are to blame for the separation of migrant families at the U.S. border and called on them to work with Republicans on new legislation. This comes as hundreds of migrant children are now being housed in a new tent city in a Texas border town. Weijia Zhang has more. Getting a first look at the so-called tent city in Tornillo, Texas, created for children being separated from their parents who are trying to cross the border illegally. I hate it. I hate the children being taken away. On Friday, President Trump said it was not his administration's fault. The Democrats forced that law upon our nation. I hate it. But it was Mr. Trump's own Justice Department that implemented a policy change in May, requiring kids to be taken away from parents parents who are held in jail. New numbers reveal over a six-week period nearly 2,000 children were separated from nearly as many adults. The crackdown has sparked controversy and stirred emotions. This image shows a two-year-old girl from Honduras crying as police search and detain her mother. Mr. President, have you spoken with Paul Manafort, Mr. President? At an impromptu press conference on the White House North Lawn, President Trump also talked about his former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, who woke up in this Virginia jail. The president tried to separate himself. You know, Paul Manafort worked for me for a very short period of time. A federal judge in Washington sent Manafort behind bars after prosecutors accused him of tampering with witnesses. He faces dozens of charges, including financial fraud, money laundering, and false statements. Manafort and his Russian business partner allegedly asked European contacts to testify that their lobbying work did not take place in the U.S. Judge Amy Berman Jackson told Manafort's attorney, this is not middle school. I can't take his cell phone. I have no appetite for this. Sources tell CBS News Manafort is ultimately banking on a presidential pardon. He is not going to pardon anybody in this investigation, but he is not obviously going to give up his right to pardon if a miscarriage of justice is presented to him. But doesn't that wind up meaning that he could, that he might? Well, of course he could. Of course he could. But to be clear, those Manafort charges do not involve work for the Trump campaign or Russian meddling, but he is a potential key witness for the special counsel who is hoping for Manafort's cooperation. Rena? We, do, we know the president's made clear he doesn't intend to use executive power. So is there legislative hope at this time? Well, for that immigration bill, Republicans say that the president supports and could sign a package that they are crafting that would at least allow parents and children to be detained together. And a source has just told CBS News the president will attend a GOP conference on Capitol Hill Tuesday, and that's when the House is expected to vote on two immigration bills. So there is some hope. Okay, thank you for clarifying that immigration. Weijia Jang at the White House. Thank you, Weijia.